What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Cowl Vault, and we have two cowls to unbox today. Both of these come courtesy of Fanatic Effects. Was there any doubt? Everything I get is now from Fanatic Effects. So this is a big, huge box, because there's two cowls in it. So one of them is one that I paid for, and another one is a gift from him. Um, he's always doing such nice things for me. So these go with my movie set. Let's unbox them right now. So I'm already taking the liberty of removing all my information from the top. So let's just get into this. So there should be two cowls in here. So, all that packing paper. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. All that packing paper. So. I don't know which one's which. Okay, I know what that one is, so we'll do this one first. So this was the one that was a gift from him for my movie set because I have purchased pretty much everything that he owns. Um, he gave this one to me as a gift. Um, I hit him up and said, like, I'd like this cowl for the collection, but it's not my favorite out of all the, uh, the cowls. So if you have, like, a flawed copy laying around, um, that I could get for a pretty decent price, um, like I, I would, I'd buy it. And he pretty much just made me the cowl that I wanted and said, I'll send you this one, an unflawed copy. So here we go. We have the Nolan Dark Knight cowl. Now, I've owned a Dark Knight cowl before. But the version that I had was a, a eBay version of the mask, and it wasn't very good. Well, actually, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, movie quality. So here I finally have a movie quality Dark Knight cowl. And this one is actually pretty freaking awesome. Like, it's actually got texture on it that I didn't even know existed. And, uh, yeah, this one's pretty freaking nifty. Kind of want to try it on. Let's try it on. Seems like it's going to be big enough to fit. Let's try it on. I should have prepped this before. All right. Put that ponytail really, really low. So let's try this on. I've never, ever worn... That's a lie. I've worn a Batman Begins cowl before, but I've never worn a Dark Knight, so this will be the first time, and you're getting a uh, bearded Batman. So it's a little tight on me, but it actually, like, it does fit. It's just kind of tight. Swear to me, where's Rachel? <laughs> yeah. So there we have the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight Batman for my movie set. This thing is actually just freaking flawless. This thing's so badass. Not my favorite cowl. Like, really, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The Nolan trilogy has not been my favorite. I enjoyed them. I really did. They're Batman movies. I like every single Batman movie for what they are. But I've never been a huge fan of the Dark Knight look, which is why I asked for a flawed copy so maybe I could get it at a reduced price. And he knows that I'm trying to build my movie set, so he's like, you know what, man? Just pay me for the other one. I'll send you an unflawed copy. And here it is. The Dark Knight Batman cowl worn by... Christian Bale. So, that's the first cowl in the box. So, I kind of want to set this up over here. You know what? Let's just unbox the other one first, because the other one is the one I'm really, really excited for. This is the second cowl. So, let's 
So he let me know in advance that this was one of his earliest, earliest, earliest masks that he ever made. And it's not perfect and he's not 100% proud of it, but I didn't care. I need it for my movie set. And I asked for it in kind of a dark blue-ish color because the metallic blue is too hard to um, recreate. So here we have... The Clooney Cowl. So it's a little mangled right now, but it'll look a lot better when I get it unfilled and I uh, put it up on the shelf. So you can see the Batman symbol there. It looks a little mangled, but it, it'll it'll retake its shape once I get it up on the shelf. All right. Let's get all this filling out of it. All right, so here we have the George Clooney Bat Nipples Batman for my movie set. So I kind of want to try this on. It looks like that the emblem, the emblem is part of the actual cowl. I did not know that. A little bit of a bubble here, so I'm going to shave that off. All right, so let's see if the Clooney fits. Looks like it's got a big, big neck on it, so maybe it'll fit. Ugh, pushing up against my eyes a little bit. Actually, this one fits pretty well. See if I can get the ears in the frame. Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. <laughs> this one's actually really, really cool. Like, I mean, I've always liked the Schumacher designs of the cowls. I know that a lot of people aren't a fan of the nipples, but I ain't got no nipples. So this is actually pretty cool. And like I said, I got it cut. I got it um, cast in blue. Because Clooney's cowl was blue, um, but it's just not got the metallic sheen on it. Because it's just too hard to replicate. And there are some people out there that do make that metallic blue. But they want, like, so much money for it. Fanatic FX, all of his pro like products are very, very, very affordable. So, yeah, there you have the Clooney. It looks really weird with the beard, but I'm a big fan of this. And this is the first Batman cowl that I've received where the uh, the emblem is also urethane. Every other one that I've received, the emblem attaches with Velcro and it's made of resin. This one's actually... I really like this cowl. It actually fits pretty well. Like, it is pushing up against my eyes just a tad bit. But it, like, not enough to really bother me. I can't hear anything. But this is actually one of my new favorites. Like, I've always liked the Clooney cowl. And I've always liked the suits in those movies. Here's a shot of the back. But yeah, so let's see if we can get this off. Ah! I'm ripping my beard off. Oh! Ah! It's like being reborn. Okay. So there is the Clooney. I'm a big fan of how this cowl came out. Like, a really big fan. It is a little mangled from being in the box. But once it sits out for a while, it'll be completely fine. So there it is. The Clooney. And the Christian Bale. Boom. Two more cowls for my movie set. And I also have another item in the mail from Fanatic Effects. And that is the Batman Begins cowl. I did some art prints for him. And he liked them so much that he sent me the last one that he, that he has currently for my movie set. So now the only ones that I'm going to be missing are um, the Sonar Kilmer. 
and uh, the mech helmet from Batman vs. Superman. But I don't really consider that a cowl. I might get it just for, you know, completion's sake. Um, but really, that is the only one that I'm missing is now the Sonar Kilmer. And then I have all the ones from the movies. Um, and then when the uh, Robert Pattinson one comes out, we'll add that to the collection and I'll have the entire movie set. So uh, thank you so much to Fanatic Effects for this flawless job, as always. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace out. Be good people.